Today's unboxing is for the monthly subscription service to Pretty Literate, which is a book subscription service, which is my absolute favorite type of subscription to get. Um, they come and go, but Pretty Literate's been around for a little while now, and I gotta tell you, I love this service. Um, but I'll come back to that and tell you more about that in a moment. So let's talk about the service itself. Um, Pretty Literate has three tiers of their subscription, which starts off with one is a book club. It's just an online community that you can belong to where they talk about not just the books in the boxes, but also other, other bookish things. Um, they are classic books, so they tend to talk about classic books. Sometimes they'll talk about, you know, newer books. I mean, it's a book community. Then they have a book box, which is the box with one a classic book every month. It's whatever their choice is for the month. And then they have the gift box, which is the one I subscribe to, which is not just the book that they, they curated for the month, but also gifts to go along with that book. One or two gifts. Um, so the price of the box is $35 a month. That does include shipping. That really, that's really a great deal. Um, it gives you a classic novel, a novel treasure, a book plate, a note explaining why it was, this book was chosen. And so that's pretty much the details of all this one. So this is our September 2023 selection. Let's dive in and see what we got. Back to school. All right. So there's writing at the top of the box, which I will come back to. And there's going to be a note on the back of this. But our theme, back to school. Okay. Oh, we're loaded with things this time. <laughs> a bunch of snacks. Okay, so the first thing I've got is original Cracker Jacks. Oh, my gosh. This is a nostalgic thing. Do any of you remember having the Cracker Jack boxes, getting the prizes out of them, which were usually like stickers or um, uh, washable tattoos? Oh, love the washable tattoos. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't think I've had Cracker Jacks in forever, so that'll be a cool thing. And then I've got a packet of, looks like peanut butter crackers. And then these probably are a type of cheese cracker yeah oh these ones look like that like sour cream and chive cheddar mix that I like I think that's why I recognize it okay and then I have I have braided twists and honey wheat oh my gosh Snyder's they're so good um I actually I'm gonna be lucky to get one out of these I might have to sneak one when I open them because my son loves these and he'll eat them before I even get a chance to have any. Okay, and then I have an under eye gel pad. Ooh, one pair. Cool. And then I have cleansing nose strips and charcoal. Ooh, like snacks and spa. Okay, and then I have a facial sheet mask, or sheet mask with collagen. Ooh. All right, so what's the book this month? The book is a separate piece, the, Amer the classic American novel by John Knowles. And this is, um, okay, so let's see what this is about first and then I'll go into it more. Uh, set at a boys boarding school in New England during the early years of World War II, the separate piece is a harrowing and luminous parable of the dark side of adolescence. Jean is a lonely introverted intellectual Phineas is a handsome, tory, taunting, daredevil athlete. What happens between the two friends one summer, like the war itself, banishes the innocence of these boys in their world. A bestseller for more than 50 years, a separate piece is John Knowles' crowning achievement and an undisputed American classic. So here's our book plate. So you can write your name on it, put it inside your book, own it. Okay, so what I want to see is when was this published? Okay, so the copyright on this one is 1959. Interesting. Okay, now I have to say, 
Um, I've heard of John Knowles, but I've never read anything about him. So again, I'll talk to you about this more in a minute, but again, I've got a book I'm not too familiar with. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we've got on our notes here. So our first note is on the box. Welcome to September's monthly book box. The school year is different now. When I was making my way through the ranks of the school system, we started school in September after Labor Day. Same. In my head, I can't quite make the adjustment to schools starting mid-August, no matter how hard I try. Yeah, I agree. I've attended public schools, private schools, and even lived away from home in fifth to seventh grades. Maybe that last one is why I couldn't, I couldn't connect, I could connect with the teens in this month's book readily. I don't know. What I do know is during that time living away from home, and again, when I went away to college, we students lived for care packages from home. This is the vibe I hoped to engender in you as you relish the goodies in this month's box. Enjoy. Oh, I love that. Okay, so here's the note. Um, last spring when I found myself in a reading slump, I picked up a book that I had been eyeing in my to be read pile for a while. I chose that particular book based solely on the cover and ended up being unexpectedly transported back to my own formative years. That time when we were still trying to figure out our places in the microchasm of society known as school. The time when our friends meant more to us than our next breath and we felt like we knew it all. That period in our lives when we were certain that we were invincible and our actions frequently backed up this belief. This novel, which is the author's first one, and I saw that they've got a little bit of a backlist, was the great American classic I picked up. John Knowles' popular coming-of-age story set during the turbulent times surrounding World War II. It focused on the boys attending a well-to-do preparatory school, something the author, interestingly, had in common with his fictional friends. With his fictional friends. While the boys in the book enjoyed a lazy summer together, doing the things they gave cadence, credence to... The, that gave credence to the saying, boys will be boys, the reader received an education regarding the dynamic that was at play amongst this group of friends. Camaraderie, competition, and consternation were shared as the boys in the novel inched their way closer to their expected military enlistment. In addition, an event or two occurred in the lives of some of the characters that forever marked their personal timelines in a significant way, the time before and the time after. Because of the back-to-school theme, I thought it would be fun to include a hodgepodge of girly stuff as your novel treasures. I included a mix of items to both delight your schoolgirl palette of old, as well as help you deal with the side effects of raging teenage hormones. There's even a little something to soothe yourself after those late nights spent reading. Consider it a care package just for you. Now, you are about to enter this, the mind of the pubescent male of the early 1940s. Are you ready for this? Here's to a memorable month, Erica. Okay, I love that. All right, so if you like this video, please take a moment to hit the like button down below. And also, if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, it'll let you know when I post my unboxings. And as always, I love your comments. What'd you think of this month's selection? Have you read anything by John Knowles? Or if you just want to say hi, that's okay too. I love your comments. I read and respond to them all. So what do I think of this box? Okay, well, let me first start by saying that I like this box. Um, I, I love that we got the hodgepodge. So cool little care package. I'm feeling the whole care package vibe. I could be snacking and taking care of myself while I read, you know, enjoy my read. I love that. Um, and I'm especially loving the Cracker Jacks. The nostalgia, man, the, the nostalgia is big there. Um, I, so I'm loving the, just the vibe of this entire box. Now about the service. Okay. Love the service. Love the service. Um, there's a couple of things. If you watch my videos regularly, um, what I'm going to say is going to be repeats. So you can tune out if you want. <laughs> but for those of you who are new here, I'm going to say it again anyway. One of the things I love about this box is that they're classics, but they're not regular classics. I know of John Knowles. I've not read anything by him. So I am interested that Oh, I'm gonna, you know, it's like a time capsule. I'm gonna pick up something about the 1940s uh, and and get immersed in that time frame by somebody who wrote about it close to that time frame, right? So I love that. Um, and I don't typically get duplicates. A lot of the classic book boxes, which I love, don't get me wrong, I love my classic book boxes, but a lot of them tend to stay to the mainstream classics. And so I've had to cancel some of them simply because I was getting a lot of duplicates. And while I love my books, you know, I want to get out of my comfort zone a little bit and not have all these duplicates. And I would say Erica does a wonderful job 
of giving us classics that are not in the, in the mainstream. They're not, not, not necessarily mainstream, but not in the norm. So I love that about her boxes. The price, you cannot beat that price. All of this, including shipping for $35. How does she do it? I don't know, but I'm loving it. So you really should support her. <laughs> I, I recommend you go subscribe, go support her. If you can't subscribe, find her, her, uh, social media accounts and give her a, a encouraging word because um, this is a tough thing, the subscription service uh, business. It's a tough thing. Um, it comes and goes. The ones that have managed to stay out there for a while, that's really good, but a lot of the boxes come and go and Erica is on, on the right track to keep her box be pretty steady and I like that. So highly recommend it, highly recommend the box, highly recommend this particular box. And that's going to be it for today's video. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. You guys are awesome as always. Have a great day.